Hi, and welcome to Get Going Trainings DJing with Ableton Live 101. Today we're going to teach you how to DJ with Ableton Live. We'll cover the basics of DJing, what it is a DJ does, the basic facilities of Ableton that we'll use while DJing, the setup of the session window, how to load songs into Ableton for your DJ sets, basic performance tools like EQs and effects, how to manage your song files and arrange your sets in Ableton, and then also how to record your sets. First, let's talk about what it is a DJ actually does. So for those of you who are new to this, a DJ traditionally performs by playing records or CDs using two turntables or CDJs and a DJ mixer. The DJ plays a song for the audience on one turntable and based on how the audience is responding or where he wants to take the music, he'll select the next song to play back and put that record on the other deck. The DJ matches the speed of the new song to the speed of the current song using the turntable's pitch slider to control the speed of playback. To do this, the DJ needs to listen to the next song before the audience hears it. This is called cueing. Now this means that a good DJ mixer needs two separate outputs, one that the audience hears and one that the DJ hears. And the DJ usually uses headphones for cueing, which is why you always see DJs with headphones on. When the new record is playing at the right speed and playing in time, the DJ will use a feature on the mixer known as the crossfader to transition between the two records. The crossfader gradually blends from one channel on the mixer to the other. Songs come from audio files on your disc that are loaded as clips. You can browse songs just like you would browse through files on your computer. Load them into Ableton, and then Ableton quickly and easily time stretches the songs to match playback to Ableton's master tempo. Now this is a lot easier than using a turntable's pitch slider to beat match between two records as they're playing, which is what DJs traditionally had to do. You can see Ableton makes the process of DJing much easier having a lot of these features built in. Ableton also supports cueing like a DJ mixer would, though you're going to need a sound card or interface with two stereo outs to support this. And you can crossfade between the tracks just like you would on a DJ mixer. We'll discuss all of these features in Ableton in more detail in a minute. So let's go ahead and open up Ableton.